question of any gym rat, sumo versus conventional, is sumo cheating? Isn't it? Sumo has a shortened range of motion. Sumo and conventional are very natural, organic movements for the body to perform, much like the squat. It, they're, they're fundamental exercises. And again, it's, it's a mere difference of inches. That is it. We're talking about inches. I mean, if we really want to make this argument, we could absolutely take into account the violent arch on a bench, which usually sometimes leaves this much range of motion. People want to talk smack about that. I mean, I know it bothers me to a mild degree, but I mean, at the end of the day, it still technically counts. The arch in the bench counts, so what is the big deal about a sumo deadlift? And for people who want to continue arguing anyway just because they hate sumo, which is whatever, you know, you like what you like, and I like conventional, I, I, I like both, but I like, I like sumo because it saves my back, but when we, when we make this argument, we could also argue these horrible hitches with just dreadful form and, you know, just absolutely horrendous technique at any strongman competition. Some of these guys, when they're hitching this stuff, it just, oh my goodness, I, I don't know how they don't blow a hernia or just, you know, have, you know, suffer from severe, you know, brain hemorrhaging because, I mean, everybody saw what happened to Eddie Hall in 2016 when he set the deadlift world record at, you know, 1,102 pounds. He was out for, like, almost 20 minutes after that, medically unable to really do anything. Like, it, it's crazy, and that, 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 that's just it. Like, he did it with good form and good technique, but some of these guys have horrible form and technique at these competitions, and that's because all they're concerned about is moving it from A to B. That's it. But, like... We, we can make so many valid arguments, but the only valid one that absolutely matters is biomechanics to whatever is suitable for your physical frame and, you know, your natural preference. And again, I, I prefer conventional in the first place, but, like, you know, sumo just works better for me in, you know, giving my lower back comfort, and I have blown out my back twice. I don't want to do that again. 515 on a conventional really sucked. It was painful and I didn't really feel like I accomplished anything. My 550 sumo, I felt like I accomplished a lot and my back didn't hurt after. Oh my god. Just such a big crime. And of course that was the first question I got asked was, you know, what is your, you know, what was your PR? Was it, you know, was it sumo or conventional? And I was like, it was sumo. And he was like, oh, sumo huh and i'm like yep and my conventional is still heavier than yours people want to make these people want to make all kinds of stupid friggin arguments because they can't put their ego aside but sumo counts get over it and conventional love it i have nothing bad to say about it except for you hitchers you know i mean strap wearers are in a whole other territory and i don't want to talk smack but both of my conventional and my sumo have perfect form, no hitch. I have a little bit of trouble getting it off the floor when it gets heavier, but otherwise, I I have I have a good lockout. I could probably you know not you know come back as far with my back. You know just stand straight up. That's all you need is a you know a vertical spine. That's it. But other than that, like like you know people really can't. People really cannot talk smack about, you know, my sumo. Or my conventional, honestly. I, I don't really think I'm that strong, but honestly, like, I, I have a lot to go on. I have plenty to be proud of when it comes to my deadlift. Perfect form, no straps, no belt. I'm as raw a deadlifter as it gets. And again, perfect form, range of motion, everything. My, my deadlift is on par, both variations. So, I don't care what people say, it is not cheating. And the arch that I speak of, almost no range of motion there, but it still technically counts because his glutes are on the bench. And it's just, uh. And here's the 13 year old Russian girl. I, a lot of people didn't think much of this. I don't know if I do, but it's whatever. 
And here's the example of the hitch on a deadlift that I have spoken of. This is from the front. It's going to be a little bit hard to identify with the with it just being a still picture. But look at that from the side. Look how insane that is. That guy is going to snap his back pretty soon. But that is allowed. But a sumo isn't. Interesting. All right, guys, here's my 515 conventional one rep max pull. And as you will be able to see here, my setup, just in front of the bar, not actually touching it yet. Don't roll the bar, just pull it straight up from the floor. That way you don't risk getting it too far away from your body. And here it comes up very slowly, but it is still a clean, good pull with perfect form and range of motion. And that is that. And here, here is my one rep max sumo. Set up very differently, but I still shake my head because I'm just like in that zone in my head. And here we go, out to the power rings, that little hip thrust I speak of, and here it goes. Just as much trouble off the floor, but smooth pull all the way, straight to my body, and easy lockout, done. Not cheating. Thanks, guys.